during the day. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We them boys. Dream team. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We them boys. Ride your bitch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We making noise. Ain't hold up. What up, y'all? So I'm going to show you quickly how to game share between two consoles. That reason being because that is the one I highly recommend, that you only game share between two consoles. If you try to game share between one console and two other consoles, multiple consoles, it can get tricky. You can then mess up your three strikes that Microsoft allows you to switch home consoles so I'm currently game sharing if you don't know what game sharing is is that any game that I download digitally or for example that I'm game sharing with Darian so any game um, Darian downloads digitally I will then be able to download onto my console without even having to sign in as him ever again so it's just, you know, basically the, the share of a license of, of a game between two consoles, basically. All right, so what you want to do is you will need their email and their password. Um, make sure that it's someone that you do trust because this is information regarding their personal account to Microsoft, whether it be their credit card on file, whether it be... Uh, personal information or uh, anything you will have access to um, so make sure it's somebody that you do trust and someone that you do know so all right I'm gonna show you the first step is I'm gonna show you what it might look like if you have already set up your current console as your home console so you're gonna go to settings you can either press the menu button and go down to settings and you'll be taken to this screen you're gonna scroll down to my XB1 if you do not have it locked uh, you will be then taken to the next screen but since I have mine locked with an extra password I'm gonna enter this password now so once I enter the password you'll be taken to this screen it this is the setting for you to take you to your next um, to the next step. Um, this is your tiles, and this, as you know, is your background. All right, so you're gonna go to my home Xbox. Now, for those of you who have, all right, let me explain my screen. Right now, my screen is saying make this my home XB1 because my home console is now. Um, set up as Darian's home console. Yeah, it's still early in the morning. Excuse the horns from the school bus. But yeah, so the reason why it says make this my home XB1 is because my console right now is not set up as my home. It's set up as Darian's home. That way I can get his digital games and he can get my digital games or DLC or any other yeah basically DLC anything I choose to download like for, ex for instance Battlefield 4 I have premium since he has Battlefield 4 he'll be able to get all the premium maps and whatever else I download for free or without even having to sign in as me it'll just automatically install so that's why you're seeing this on my screen but if your screen is saying this isn't my home XB1 don't worry about it. You don't have to touch it. That right now just considers you as one strike. Microsoft allows you three strikes to change home consoles. After that third change or third strike, you'll be stuck with that home console wherever it's at, wherever you set it to the last time. That'll be stuck for you for a whole year. Um, I think it's for the calendar year, so after December, like if you just got your strike and come December, come January, it will be then reset it and you'll have three fresh new chances or strikes to change your home console. So you're not doing anything here. I'm just taking you here to show you if you see either of these two uh, messages at the bottom that's in the gray. 
All right, so you're gonna just back out and go, or you can just press home button and take you all the way to home, it doesn't matter. Um, you can stay signed in as you, and you can either click add new, sign out, and then add new again, but whichever one you choose, it doesn't matter. So what you're gonna do, once you click add new, as you can see, I have Darian's profile set on my Xbox. Um, you're gonna then enter the person's email and password. Like I said previously, this is sensitive information, so make sure it's someone that you trust and someone that you know. Once you enter their password and their um, email, you're gonna be given three choices. You're gonna add, uh, enter a capture as well, but once after you enter a capture, you're gonna be given three options. Uh, the first option is to sign in. Um, the second option is to, I think it's just, um, just a password or just a, a password to enter, something like that. But the third option I chose to protect myself and to protect Darian as well. I chose lock it down. I'm not going to be in his account for anything anyway because once, like I said before, once you're in their account, you no longer have to log in as them once you have their profile set or your home xbox set to their home console or your home console set to their home xbox um you don't have to sign in them as them again to install any or future digital purchases so once you pass that you're gonna then be taken to you'll then log in as their what's going on outside bro uh, that's how people get shot all right but that's how um you'll then be logged in as that person so i'm gonna show you what it will look like So once you enter their information, you're going to automatically log in as them. So your next step before you can download any games to your console is to go. I just quit it out just so it could load up fresh. So you're going to go to settings. Right now, remember, you're still in as their account. Once you're... Um, once you click settings, you're going to see their profile. You're going to then scroll down to my Xbox. Um, as you remember, as I said, um, I think that middle step is, is just you enter the password once and um, you'll then be able to unlock everything else or whatever. And I think the third option, lock it down, is any sensitive area I have a sensitive information area um, you will then have to use their password again so you're gonna see the same thing as you saw it on your home screen and you're gonna click my home Xbox once you get in you're gonna see as like I was saying before this isn't my home XB1 and again the reason why this is saying that for me is because I already set Darian's home console as my home Xbox as my home console so those words could get tricky just know that his profile is on my system pretty much his 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 um information is on my system so anything he downloads I get anything I download he gets so you're gonna then click make this my home XB1 that is what you're going to say, see once you're in somebody else's profile. So you're going to go ahead, click that. It's going to give you all the privacy information, whatever. You go ahead and click it. Then when that is done, you're going to go back. It's going to take you back and you're going to go back to, you can go home, you can go back to settings and you're going to go to my games and apps once you're in my games and apps now this is where the fun parts begins 
you can then be on the games tab and scroll all the way to the right it might say Xbox store or whatever just give it some time to load up their games especially if they have a lot of games it's gonna load up it's gonna take some time to load up the names once it's loaded up you're like a kid in a candy store you go ahead and choose whatever makes your heart happy and you'll go ahead and download that game once you click the download it's gonna move from the screen and it's gonna take you over here and as you can see I got 2k from him he got Evil Within from me, Call of Duty from me, um, the Battlefield 4 um, DLC because I got premium so he gets all the maps and all that good stuff from me for free. And right now I'm currently downloading, pre-downloading Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, he's getting WWE so I will be getting that as well. Uh, Tomb Raider, Dragon Age, Inquisition. I'm re-downloading all these games back onto my console. So, you can either stay here and download the games fully while still in their account. But me knowing Daring, or if you know the person, if they're not at work, or if they're not busy, if they're not on their console, if they're not using their console, you will be able to also sign out. Once you sign out, you'll then be taken to your home account. Once you're in your home account, you can still continue to download the games. So you no longer have to be in their profile to download the game. Then they could sign in. They can go ahead and play as, for example, Darian, go and play his favorite game, 2K. And you'll continue to just install the game and carry on whatever you was doing. So I hope this was simple enough. But before I leave, make sure you check out the website, the official wegamehere.com. You'll find all our member pages there. Uh, make sure to check it out. Like, um, tweet it, Google Plus it, share it, do whatever your heart content. But that's it for me, and I'm out. One.